Sometimes when you're putting a scene together, you want to load in setups that you have in other scene files, and we can use load items from scene to take advantage of that. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to build a quick little light rig. So I'm going to add a null, and I'm going to call this uh, my light kit. Okay, and let me just grab a, a few lights. I'm going to I'm going to make a point light and kick it over here raise it up some and uh, I'm gonna clone that and move it down here and I'm gonna clone that and move it over here okay so this is gonna be our our little uh, light rig our little light setup I'm gonna go over to the scene editor and I'm gonna grab all of the lights including the the original distant light and just drag it to the light kit so that I can parent it that way I've got my little master mover here Okay. Let me save the scene off. Save scene. And I'm just going to call this light kit. Clear the scene. And say I start loading in my other objects. And I'm like, okay, it's time to light. And hey, I've got this great little light kit that, uh, that I used on my last project. And I want to take advantage of it again. So instead of building it again, or remembering the settings and, you know, uh, building it from scratch. I'm going to go over to load from scene, pick the scene that I want to load items from, and as you can see, I can load uh, cameras, lights, objects. I'm going to load the, um, the light kit. I could select all, but I don't want to worry about the camera or anything. And I could select each one of these, or I could just double click on lights and grab all the lights and hit OK. And now I've loaded up the light rig from the other scene. Okay, so I use this all the time for uh, loading up light rigs, um, but where it really comes into play for the, the type of stuff I like to do is uh, the character rigs. What I like to do is build a character rig in another scene than the scene that I'm going to be actually doing my animation in. You know, that way I can test out my rig, I can build the rig, there's nothing else in the scene while I'm uh, constructing it. Save that off as like a master rig scene uh, for, you know, for that particular character. And then once, uh, once I'm ready to start um, working on a particular shot, I can just go load items from scene and load each individual character that's pre-rigged. I don't have to uh, rig uh, you know, three characters in the same scene. They're already rigged, load them, load them in, ready to go and start animating. And so if you're working with a team of people, uh, a team of artists, then you're able to all be working from the same rig and know that you're, you're loading in um, the entire setup. So it's great for light rigs and for uh, uh, for character rigs and vehicle rigs and things like that. So you can come over to the items tab and choose load, load from scene or you can come over to the file menu, load, load items from scene. It's the same thing, just two different places that you can uh, access it. And again, that's just a quick look at load items from scene.